All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to see how you can create an automation for the new leads that are coming into the system. So assuming you have forms, you have surveys, uh, you have other different channels where lead comes in and it gets dumped into the high level system. So we are going to see how you can set up an automation and what are the different automation actions you can perform in your high level workflows. So let's go to automations. Let's create a workflow. This time we are going to create this from scratch. Assuming we have a form and we are creating this automation for form submissions, we are going to do form submitted. So by creating this, we are saying whenever there's a form submission and the form is contact form, we activate this workflow, right? So we're going to say, or just say new lead automation, something like that. Now we are going to start creating the automation, right? First step you can perform is you can assign the lead to a user. So assuming this is a client account, what we are going to do is if the client's name is John Doe and he has a user in this high level account, we can assign this lead to John Doe so he can get notifications. He can follow up with the leads. Assigning the lead is a very good practice for lead nurturing and maintenance. So we are going to assign this lead to the client or if it's your own CRM, you just assign it to yourself. You can turn this on only apply to unassigned contacts, but we are assuming that the leads are entirely new to the system. So this doesn't matter. Next thing we can do is we can add the lead to your pipeline. Now pipeline for those who don't know what it is, it's a system where you can go and you can, you know, follow up with the lead. You can implement your sales process into a high level pipeline. If I show you uh, one of the pipelines we have created in this account, if we go to opportunities and if we see there's a main pipeline which I've created by going here and creating a new pipeline. So uh, there are different states, new lead, appointment booked, canceled, no show, tended. We can create all these steps. Uh, so we can create more steps, we can delete steps, whatever. But we want them when there's a new lead in the system, I want that lead to be showing up here as a tile. So in order to do that, I'm going to say create or update an opportunity. So opportunities are values in the pipelines. So I'm creating an opportunity. I'm going to say main pipeline, new lead and opportunity name will be contact dot name. This will be replaced by the person who submitted the form source. You can say where it's coming from, maybe uh, just website or wherever the form you're putting it status is open because we haven't sold anything so technically it's open it will be it, it it cannot be marked as one so let's keep it open lead value estimated value of business you are supposed to get from this lead so that depends on your business actually all right this one's done you can send an internal notification to the assigned user so when there's a new lead you're probably going to want to send a notification to the user if it's a client the client should receive the notification if it's you you should receive a notification when there's a new form submission right so we're saying this is an email from name from email you can fill this up to user type assigned user or you can send it to a custom email if the client wants to uh, wants the notification in a different email you can have it here or just assign user subject you can say hey in the system and if you want to mention the uh, you know user uh, the form submission data you can have it so this was the Contacts name, contacts email, also contacts phone number, depends on the form really, all sorts of stuff. 
Now let's send an email to the person who submitted the form. So in order to do that, we're just going to send an email from name from email. You can fill this up. We're going to say thank you for showing interest. And we're going to say hi. You can use a custom field, sorry, custom value here. So hi, the person who submitted the form. This will be replaced by the name. Thank you for showing interest in the company name. Someone from the team will be in touch with you shortly. Something like that. And you can show this. Uh, you can actually send this same thing as an SMS. So if the form has a phone number field, uh, you can send SMS also to that person, right? Also, you can add a task for the assigned user to follow up with this, uh, with this lead, follow up with just contact name. I please follow up. This is the description. Maybe also put the email. All right, sign to contact assigned user, or you can put any other user, but just let's just put uh, the assigned user here one day or two days, whatever. That's it. Let's see what are the different things we can do. Uh, we can send uh, a voicemail. So you can uh, record a voicemail and uh, upload it here. That way you can also send a voicemail to the you know lead. Voicemails are more personalized. So they have a more of a, you know, personal touch. If you want to use that, you can use that. Also, you can add a contact tag. So you can add a contact tag here. Tags are basically uh, used for filtering and also performing other automations. You can perform a, an, a whole automation based on a contact tag. So that helps. So you can just add, a, you know, uh, tag like website contact page or whatever maybe contact form not this one All right save action so this is a really basic and simple new lead automation you can uh, create something like this for new leads coming into the system based on where it's coming from you can add tags and you can change the emails sms the text and uh, you can also add this to a pipeline now what happens when the lead or this person who has just gotten to the system through the contact form what happens when this lead replies right so if the lead replies to any of these uh if, if let's say this email has a question right so what if uh, uh do you want to share what uh was what is it that you need help with something like that right so what if this contact or this lead replies so in order to handle that we can create a new workflow we can uh, search for customer replied and we can see a uh, reply to workflow here Let's find out the workflow that we just created. I think this is the one, so new lead automation. So we are saying if the customer or if the contact or if the lead replies to this workflow, we are gonna change the pipeline for, uh, you know, just an example. So you can change the lead to maybe appointment booked or whatever. Like if there's a new uh, stage you create called responded, you can, obviously use it so whenever the contact replies it can be automatically moved from one pipeline stage to another you know something like that also you can change uh the contact tag you can uh you can say responded you know something like that and also you can remove the tag uh if you want to remove it at all so you just remove contact form because uh, if the contact has been added to the previous workflow, we are sure that this is the contact tag uh, that's added to that lead. So we can remove that. 
or whatever if you don't want to remove it just don't remove it and do all sorts of this stuff and then also you can send emails sms more voicemails depends on what automation you want to perform actually this uh this video is actually about uh trying to show you what are the different automation actions you can perform and these are the basic actions hope you guys understand and that's it i'll see you in the next one Thank you.